120s. Yeah, because he's recently competed in the 105s, hasn't he? So he's just yeah, made so the decision to <laughs> mess with the big boys. Yeah, so he was competing in the 105s this year at the European men's. And picked up a silver medal in the 980 total. total. So it looks like he's just decided to uh, stop starving himself before weighing. I don't think he'll have been worried yeah, about well, not eating it'll be, or drinking. It'll be really quite Certainly a mental element to this discipline, e even though it is a strength sport, if your head's not in the game, if you don't believe you're going to get the lift, then I don't think you are. Yeah, so look, I mean, when you've got 385 kilos on your back and your belt doesn't feel as comfortable as it usually does because you're wearing a different one. That's going to put you off. This is Alan Grenier of France for 385 kilos, as you've already seen on the uh, graphics. Let's see how this moves for Grenier. Well, he has no issue with strength. Let's see what Very the referees smooth. say. Oh, he's done well so far. And he's taken a nice little five kilo jump to end it. He has a lot to say. You'll find this lifters tend to fall into one or two categories, don't they? They're either um, height lifters, so wind themselves up, or they just come out and go absolutely stone faced. No. Yeah, that one's just a little bit too much today. Yeah, and look, even even those lifters that are stone faced, when they get France, 307.5 kilos for his opener. So uh, re the, really the bench is the most technical lift, isn't it? There are many, many ways in which you can uh, you can get that wrong. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. In, in Equip, there's many ways you can get it wrong. There's many ways you can fail. But there's also so many things you can do to increase your lift. Yeah, so you'll get yellows for um, 317.5. Ten kilos on from his last attempt, which went well for him. So three seventeen and a half. I don't think he's list lifted this in competition before. I could be wrong. No, the PB that he's uh, told us about is three oh five. Although sometimes lifters will uh, sandbag a little bit with what they uh, what they tell us about. Uh, but we do have access to the pr results of the previous competition. He has done a 315 back in 2019. Okay, so this is still a PB, just not quite as big a PB as we were led to believe. Well, let's see how it goes. No, it's tough. It's tough, but it's gone. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm not in the best position great about it, but 320 on the bar for the French lifter, Alain Grenier. Now he's gone up two and a half from his last attempt, so he must be uh, he, mu he must be feeling it a little bit. Uh, yeah, just well knows what he can do, I think. You tend to know what your limits are. He's already passed his personal best. You know, his his best lift in three in competition was three fifteen. That was, you know, that was almost three years ago, and he hasn't lifted around there since. Well, his best lift in competition was actually three seventeen point five about five minutes ago, <laughs> but. And it's moving, it's still moving, that's tough though. Well, he got at the top, I'm not sure. It's freeing up those wrists. You, you're going to see a lot of um, ritual type stuff. This is what I do every time I deadlift. This is what I'm going to do this time I deadlift. I don't want any surprises. Yeah, and it's probably the least technical lift as well. You don't have to wait for a start command. Just pick it up, you get have the down command and put it down, and that is a good his second attempt. Starting to bring that intensity now. Through the, you've gotten through the day of lifting. If you're going to bring some intensity, this is where it needs to start. Yeah, in a word. Uh, 320 for now for uh, Alan Grenier of France. His previous two lifts didn't seem to cause him any problems. 
And I don't think this one has either. And he's managed his day well. He's still got